All right, guys, we are so close to being done with this project and they look awesome so far. I hope you're loving yours as well. So I got all my pieces glued on carefully and I know I gave you a little talk and preview about using um, marker detail to kind of enhance it a little bit more. I'm gonna talk to you about a few more options today. Let's say you didn't like your eyes that maybe you drew on or something like that. Um, I'm gonna actually draw some sunglasses. I'm going to show you kind of how to create those. So I'm using my folded piece of purple paper here and I'm going to make just a little bridge for the nose area and I'm going to make the actual sunglass part and then the arm of the sunglass. All right so then when I cut it out, and this is a little trickier to cut out, I need to make sure I don't cut through the, the crease. I've got to leave that intact. And I purposely drew in Sharpie so you guys could see better, but you should always use your pencil. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And now I've got some sunglasses that I can show you by placing here. So it's completely up to you if you want to change what you did at all. Um, but that way I showed you how you could cover something up. Okay, so if you didn't like the eyes that maybe you added um, with paper or with marker, you could do something else and cover them up. So you've got options. So if you accidentally made a mistake that you don't like, don't try to like rip it off or anything like that. See what you can add on top to make it more interesting. So I like those sunglasses, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down quick. And remember, just a tiny little bit of glue will be enough to stick them on. Placing it carefully, symmetrically on my head, making sure they're nice and straight, and then gently tapping them down. All right, so for the rest of the day, you can take your Sharpie or any other coloring devices at home. Um, you could use, you could do something three dimensional if you have like beads at home. The only rule I have for you is whatever you use, it has to be symmetrically put on your creature. So if you have one of something, it's gotta go on that middle plane here, down the middle line. If you're gonna add two of something, then it needs to be directly across from each other. You could have four of something and have two here and two down here, that's fine as well. But it would need to be an even number so that it ends up being symmetrical. So if you're gonna add details, so like let's say I add some details whoop, to my claw over here, then I've gotta add the same detail to my claw on the other side. I've gotta make it symmetrical, all right? Um, if I add any more detail to my superpower belt, I've gotta make sure that I do it on both sides. Okay, so any sort of detail that you wanna add, I wanna add shoelaces or something like that, I've gotta do it on both sides, okay? Keeping it symmetrical, keeping it awesome. I do feel like the one thing he sort of needs is some sort of maybe mouth. I don't know, I kind of like it the way it is, maybe not. Maybe I'll make his mouth down here. It almost looks like a cat head or like a, a nose. So maybe I'm gonna make like a cat or dog nose like this. And then I'm gonna add whiskers. But I've gotta have three because I just drew three on the other side like so, and I'm gonna fill this in. I think it needs to be filled in. And then I'm gonna add this U-shape there because it's nice and symmetrical. Oh, now he's a little happier, I like it. All right, so plenty of options, plenty of things. Again, you can use anything you've got in your house that your parents say is okay for you to use. So if you've got perler beads or um, let's see, what else could you use? Uh, yarn, anything like that that you want to cut and paste on here, you are welcome to do so, or you can just use your colored paper and your markers or colored pencils, that's fine as well. 
All right, so once you are 100% happy with your creature, we're gonna let him dry and then we're gonna learn how to upload him to Artsonia because that's how I'm gonna see it. That's how I'm gonna eventually evaluate you for your project. And the cool part is, is Artsonia is gonna follow you for the rest of your time at Oak Grove and maybe even at Libertyville High School as well. So um, it's, it's really fun, but we gotta make sure that this is nice and dry before we do it. So let's wait till tomorrow to do that step. Have a good one, guys.